and so today we are solving this problem minimum operations to make the integer 0 so we are given two integers nums1 and nums2 and in one operation we can choose integer i from this range 0 to 60 and sub, uh, subtract uh, 2 plus uh, 2 to the power i plus nums2 from this first number num1 so return the integer denoting the minimum number of operations needed to make nums1 equal to 0 and if it is impossible to make nums1 equal to 0 return minus 1 so we can understand like this so suppose this is the way that if nums1 and nums2 given to us in one operation what we have to do is in one operation we are doing like this you can see here after the one operation this nums1 is basically becoming whatever is nums1 minus 2 to the power i plus nums2 okay so this is what it is doing so there could be multiple operations when we are calling this function on it and finally it becomes equal to 0 right so this is what we have to do we can take one example here like in this uh, suppose nums1 is 10 and nums2 is equal to 1 okay now we can assume one thing let's say we are getting our answer because we, we need to find the operations that minimum number of operations when it is possible right so you guys can uh, observe that let's say we are checking that suppose in one operation we can do the thing okay so if we are starting from one and we will assume that okay let's say operation one is the uh, giving us solution then what will happen in this case what would be the nums one become it would become 10 minus whatever is the nums2 okay because here what i can do here is if i bring this uh, so what we can do here is 10 minus uh, 2 to the power let's say i am taking 2 to the power suppose i am taking 0 here okay and uh, plus uh, this nums2 is 1 right so what it would be giving in one operation it is giving me uh, 8 basically so this is not 0 right so in operation 1 we are not getting this so anyway to get 8 we are we have used one operation now let's say we are taking one more operation because so far we haven't got 0 so okay then operation uh, 2 right total 2 now our new num1 is equal to 8 right so our new num1 is 8 so what we will do is 8 minus whatever is this value so 2 to the power now this i could be anything but for this particular i am taking so if i take here uh, 2 to the power what if I take here 2 to the power uh, uh, 4 what will happen so uh, it, uh, 2 to the power 3 if I take here 2 to the power 3 plus 1 right because 1 is always there so what will happen in this case can we find it no it would become negative so uh, this would not be the solution then can we take something else so let's take 2 to the power 2 here right so it would become 4 plus 1 5 right so 8 minus 3 8 minus 5 so new value of the num would become 3 now right so now what we will do our num 1 is 3 now so we have to take one more operation let's say operation 2 because so far we haven't found it equal to 0 so let's take operation 2 plus 1 so third operation we are taking so 3 minus suppose this time what we can do we are taking 3 minus 2 to the power 1 let's say and plus 1 right so this time what we are getting this time we have got 0 so how many operations we have taken we have taken 3 operation so in 3 operation we can make nums1 equal to 0 found operation total operation 3 in first solution but we can have further better right we, we are looking for the smallest number of operations so what if i here in operation 1 what if i put here 2 to the power 2 plus 1 then what would be the new value of nums1 nums1 would become 5 right 10 minus 5 equal to 5 now in operation 2 what we can do is in, in operation 2 we have to again check so can't we do something like this what if i put here 2 to the power uh, again 2 to the power 2 plus 1 right so then it would become uh, 0 so this time we have found only in two operations this would become 0 right so operation 2 is better than previous one so this would be the answer operation 2 would be answer now uh, so this is how what we have to do now the thing is how to do that so let's try to solve the problem that what would be our approach to solve it to find the minimum one okay so first of all here you would have observed one thing 
that suppose we are starting from we are starting from operations starting from 1 2 3 right any one could be the value let's say operation 1 or 2 or 3 like that we want to go so we because we are looking for the minimum number of operations so better we should start if we can start with operation 1 or 2 or 3 so wherever we found a solution that should be our solution because anyway we are starting from the minimum right operation 1 2 3 like that so the minimum one would be occur first so wherever we found now you guys can observe one thing here suppose in general in any number let's say ops suppose this ops is our answer it could be any number right out of these suppose one ops is my answer in that case what will happen obviously in from the nums one I can say directly that from nums one how many times I would be having a uh, removed uh, right how many times I would have uh, uh, deduct nums to ops times right because if there are total number of operations is ops that means nums to would be deducted ops times correct so I can see here that this would be uh, nums whatever number of operation times right this is definitely deducted from our nums one if we are doing ops number of the operations right so if we deduct this we will get whatever value that should be accommodated in 2 to the power whatever value it is right so if let's say if I say this uh, target suppose I am saying this this value as target right so if this can this target can be splitted in in the form of 2 to the powers right if this target can be formed in the form of 2 to the powers ops times right these many operations we have done so these many times nums2 would be definitely deducted like here if we are doing one operation then one time we are deducting nums2 if we are doing two two, two operations two times nums2 because nums2 anyway fix then whatever is the target after doing these many operations this target should be in forms of 2 to the power whatever it could be i plus 2 to the power i i minus 1 i plus 1 let's say we are calling j like this and this should be like uh, ops times right because ops time we would be using 2 to the powers as well right so this is what this idea based upon this idea we can solve the problem for example let's take this example itself the one we were discussing here for example we will try with this value right nums1 equal to 10 and nums2 equal to 1 so suppose ops1 is our answer then what we would, what would be our target our target would be tzt would be nums1 minus uh, so nums1 is equal to 10 so 10 minus whatever is the nums2 that is 1 and we are taking our answer equal to operation 1 okay so into 1 so our target would become what it would become 10 or uh, 9 now we have to check whether hey can we uh, explit this 9 in the forms of uh, or 2 to the powers and that also ops time means one time but we cannot do right we can only think like 2 to the power 3 kind of thing but we cannot have any two values uh, any one value which will give us 2 to the power uh, equal to 9 so this operation cannot be our answer right this cannot be our answer now we will hit and try for the operation okay then let's check for operation equal to 2 that can 2 would be our answer okay let's check so what would be our target in that case our target would be 1 into this would be 2 times so ops equal to 2 this time so it would become 2 so 10 into or 2 so what is the answer here 8 so can we express this 8 uh, in the form of 2 to the powers right can we do that yes we can do that we need the uh, operation is 2 right so we need the two places in the form of 2 to the power that, that we can easily do we can write it 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 right we can write it so now we got our answer because this 8 can be operation time so 2 times we can express it in the forms of uh, uh, 2 to the power so how uh, so this 2 should be our answer right so operation 2 so we what we are doing is starting from 1 2 3 we are checking that wherever we found this condition true that would be the minimum number of operations because anyway we are starting from 1 so now one thing is how to write the code for it right because logic we got but how do we check the main challenge here is uh, till here it is fine that we will get target whatever ops but this value how would we say that uh, this would be uh, uh, 
this can be expressed in terms of 2 to the powers right so that is the challenge for example when it was 9 how would we check it right so 9 9 how how we can write the 9 we can write the 9 in terms of like this 1 0 and uh, 0 1 this is 9 right so here you can check one thing that when we took uh, it was 9 when operation equal to 1 right so when operation equal to 1 at that time we got target equal to 9 right so now you can observe one thing that whatever number of bits are there in that number okay and if this ops is either greater than or equal to these number of bits then only it would be possible otherwise it would not be possible how can I say that I am not saying just after looking somewhere but we can see here that uh, if we have only one bit and operation also one then it would be possible right let's say if it was 8 then obviously if there is no one then it can directly we can write it in 2 to the power 3 right we can directly write in 2 to the power 3 but in case of uh, 9 there is an extra bit so in when there is an extra set bit basically so if there are set bits extra in that case what will happen at least uh, uh, it would be uh, like operation should be if operation is 1 then we cannot express it in, in one single uh, powers of the 2 because we need at least 2 power like we can write it 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 0 right so 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 0 but ops was 1 at that time so this was not matching so for that reason we started for operation equal to 2 and in operation equal to 2 we found this right so what we can do is we have to whatever number is there if we want to check that hey can we express it in terms of operations we will check that how many set bits are there if those set bits are equal to this operation or lesser than operation then that would be our answer otherwise we have to look for further more values okay so this is how we would be doing now let's write the code together see here we are starting our code so let's say we are starting for with a for loop okay so with four ops okay ops equal to starting from one and uh, ops is less than or equal to 60 as per given in the question and ops plus plus right we are going in this way and then we were taking our target so we are making it long equal to target now you would be having a question why long because in longs we can basically long dot bit counts we can use so that is why i am making it long okay so long target equal to what it would be whatever is the nums one or uh, num one basically not nums one so num one minus so this time we are considering we are starting from ops right so we will write here long into ops times of nums two right this is what we were doing or long of ops into num two this is how we were taking our target right just like we were taking here this target equal to whatever is the number and whatever operation times and this nums two right so same thing i'm doing here so okay so this will give us target that okay this is our target now first of all we have to check that if target itself is going negative right if it is less than zero right then there is no possibility we have to immediately return minus one because target if we are deducting this that that means this operation cannot be at all a solution so if target itself is going less than zero we are returning minus one otherwise what we would be doing otherwise we would be doing we will take the uh, number of bits right so we will take int uh, set bits set bits equal to how we would be taking we know that long dot bit count is a method long dot bit count is a method which can directly give us the uh, whatever set bits are there target in the target right just uh, like we did it here we did here for the bit count of this 9 right 1001 so we can put this 9 into this method and we can find how many bits so set bits are there now we can check here that if these set bits if these set bits are less than or equal to operation right and this operation obviously should be uh, is uh, either uh, is smaller than the target right less than or equal to target then only it would be possible otherwise huge values it would not be possible so if we do in that way then this should be our answer right return ops otherwise if we are not finding anywhere our answer we have to return here minus one right 
now you should be very clear that we are starting from one in incremental way and wherever we found this condition that the set bits are less than or equal to operation and obviously this operation should be less than or equal to target if for bigger values it cannot go obviously so uh, here uh, then we are returning this ops so uh, let me run this code okay so there is some issue what is that long dumps okay okay we have casted wrongly we have casted wrongly this should be like this like this okay this long this long and this also long okay let me try this time okay so yeah yeah it is working now let me try to submit it and let us see how it goes so yeah it is 100 percent faster so what is the time complexity here you guys can observe we are running only a fixed times loop that is a 60 times that means we are not going any more right it is kind of a uh, you can say constant time complexity and uh, we are not taking any extra space so constant time complexity constant space so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please make a comment over there thank you